Greetings, Gothamites and YouTubers. The Scarecrow has again returned. Now, today I speak of common fears. Yes, that's right. The fears that dictate your daily lives. By that, I mean the ones that influence your decisions. Every decision you ever make especially your most life-turning ones. Take, for instance, when you think of why mankind evolved the way it did. You know why? It wasn't because they were the smartest or the most able, but rather, it's because they were the most afraid. You see, out of fear of the unknown, they built their shelters. Out of fear of not being strong enough to handle tigers or wolves, they invented weapons. Out of fear of freezing to death and fear of the dark, they domesticated fire. As time went on, their fears of each other is what sparked wars. Every war you see is built on fear. And even in the lives we have now, Fear is the ultimate dictator, the ultimate controlling force in our lives. How do I know this? Think about it very carefully. Now, why do you seek out a girlfriend or a boyfriend? Because you fear dying alone. You fear being left behind by those that do have someone in their lives. You have children because you fear not having anything that matters be left behind, having no one to carry on your legacy, or more importantly, your last name. And then, of course, <laughs> we surround ourselves with money and luxuries. And why? Because we fear being inferior to others. We fear being seen as weak, because Without all of these, what are we but helpless creatures that would have been devoured long ago? So indeed, the truth is, fear dominates all of us. Then we think about the Batman and us, the rogues, that make up his gallery of enemies. Batman, for instance. He fears not being able to save this city. He fears not being able to save people. No doubt he has suffered a personal loss that I have yet to look into that may point me to his identity. Because he is a psychiatrist's field trip. And then, we have a few of our adversaries. Harley Quinn fears acceptance, or the lack thereof. She fears being rebuffed and denied. She clings to the Joker, the only one she thought could understand her. Killer Croc. People feared him. In turn, they fear what they don't understand, and Killer Croc is a case in point of that. He illustrates our fear of what we can't comprehend. His inhuman appearance frightens others, something he embraced when he took on the full moniker of Killer Croc. And then, fear being brought on by others of us, though not nearly as good as myself, may I point out. Fear brought on by brilliance is illustrated through the Riddler. The Riddler, with his elaborate death traps, the solution only attainable through a riddle. He knows, just as I do, People become afraid they cannot solve his riddles in time, and therefore that gives him the final victory, though he does not know it, is people's fear. And then, perhaps most interesting is the Joker. Just like Killer Croc, people fear what they don't understand with him, yet at the same time, they fear what he embodies. He embodies a trait of madness that exists in all of us, every one of us who could become as mad as him with one bad day. The Joker makes us question that part of us inside ourselves 
capable of pure cruelty and monstrous acts, simply out of insanity, just because of one bad day. But me, I don't intend to spread fear simply for laughs or the unknown. I spread fear out of a desire to observe it, and in the end, have more control over it than any other by understanding it so perfectly. Something that I can do once I cripple the Batman and learn who he is and subject him to Arkham just as he should be. <laughs>